has been uh, using forensics in crime investigation. And uh, till date, uh, I have been able to get uh, 61 convictions throughout my life, solely based on forensics. Forget about those ocular evidences. You know, where uh, my career took a change was, uh, in the year 2007, uh, we have, you know, might be knowing Asiatic lines. And Asiatic lines is the only thing that we can find in Gujarat, nowhere in the world. Ten Asiatic lines were poached. And uh, uh, in three different spells, in the, in the gap of three, three months. And uh, ultimately, you know, the government decided to hand over the case to me. You know, I am a basically a conventional crime investigator. I have never investigated a wildlife crime. So this is the journey that I want to discuss with you. And during that journey, I was amazed to find that how important is wildlife for all of us. For those people who are interested in knowing why wildlife is important, kindly have a Google on the word zoonosis. And I was uh, surprised to know that, you know, if we neglect wildlife, what possible changes that it can bring to the human mankind. While the wildlife crime investigation is important to us, I have a very small video, very small video, and it is uploaded. It is from the Human Odyssey. Just have a look at this video. Can you play the video? Now, you know, these are the real photographs which we had taken during the investigation. In this case, 38 poachers were convicted. This is the world's biggest conviction in wildlife crime. Uh, I was invited by the Interpol and I uh, shared my presentation there. It was rated 4.62 out of 5, precisely because there was lots of forensics in this. You know, when I was uh, discussing this case, I was told you, you know, it was, I am basically a conventional crime investigator. I have never investigated a wildlife crime investigation. But uh, when I was invited by WWF to share my presentation, they found out that there was a strong convergence of conventional forensics in conventional crime with the wildlife crime. So this is where the investigation stands out. So this is a brief history. Presently, if you see, uh, this is the latest figures of 2022 in which we have about 674 lions and uh, 1,305 leopards. When I was investigating the case, it was about three, 325. So just imagine the impact that this case had on the conservation of the Asiatic lions. Three cardinal principles that I'm going to propose is treat wildlife crime as an organized crime. Number two, use conventional forensics. And finally, proper investigation and prosecution as a means of wildlife conservation. A good prosecution is also a means of uh, wildlife conservation. So prosecution and conservation also leads to conservation. We are grateful to these two officers. Thank you. Thank you so much.